Welcome back to my Theory Kitchen internet. Now today we're going to go through just one question dealing with key signatures with sharps and flats and the tonic triads. So let's get started. Right, there we go. Let's see what we've got. In this paper it's question number five. Let's see. Add the correct clef and key signature to each of these tonic triads. So they give you the tonic triad, they give you the key, and you have to draw the clef, the appropriate clef, and the, and the key signature. Right. So let's say, the, let's, let's say that the first step is to determine which clef we're going to use. Uh, you can see that these are, all, um, these are all root position triads, okay? So being root position triads, you can say that the bottom note of each of these cards is the root. Therefore, it's the note that will give you the key, right? So this is the, um, okay, this is the tonic, let's start with the first one. This is the tonic triad of A major. So ask yourself, guys, ask yourselves, this note here at the bottom, the root, is going to be an A, right? That's an A, without fail. In which clef is that bottom note an A? Is it the treble clef? No, because in the treble clef, that space is F. Is it the bass clef? Yes, because in the bass clef, that note is an A. So it's only in the bass clef that that note can be the root of a triad. So let's, uh, let's, get, a, let's get a freehand tool. And let's draw a nice bass clef right there. Without, ah, there you go. Bass clef. Right now we've determined we've determined the um, we've determined the clef. Now they also want the key signature. Right, so what's the key signature of A major? If you if you've memorized if you have the circle of fifths clean your clear in your mind, or if you've played enough music that you can just tell in a split second what the key signature of A major is. Well done. You don't need to see this paper at all. But if you don't, if you're, not, if you're not sure, if you're not sure, let's work backwards from what we know, from what we've done in the, uh, in the previous lesson. A major. First of all, is A major a key signature with the sharps or is it a key signature with flats? Like we said in, in our lesson earlier, if the name of a key is just a note name, like in this case A, it is most likely, it is most likely a, a key with sharps. It belongs to the sharps. The only exception being F major and C major. Because C major has no sharps or flats and F major has got one flat. So A major, A, just a note name, belongs to the, to the, to the, to the sharps is in the way of the shaft. Right, so what do we do, what do, we do to, to find the key signature? Uh, remember that we said that the, the, last sharp of, um, the last sharp of the key signature is the leading note. Okay, so what we have to find the leading note of A major. What's the leading note of A major? G sharp. G sharp. Let's make a quick note there, G sharp. So G sharp is going to be the last sharp in the series. Now let's start drawing sharps until we encounter G sharps. Now you know clearly that the first sharp to appear is F sharp. There you go, F sharp. F sharp, count up a fifth. F, G, A, B, C. C is the second sharp, up a fifth. We're not to the leading note yet. Now, next sharp, C up, count up a fifth, C, D, E, F, G, G. That's the leading note of A major. That's the key signature. Right. <clears throat> Let's carry on. F minor. Okay. First thing, let's determine the clef. Let's determine the clef. In which clef is that bottom note, the root of the chord, 
denote f. In which clef is this dot an f? Is it the treble clef? Yes, it is. Because in the treble clef, that root is an f. Now, what's the key signature of f minor? It's a minor key. It's a minor key, so we have to relate to its relative major. How do we relate to the relative major? We go up a minor third or down a major sixth from the note F. What's a minor third above from F? A minor third above from F is A flat. So A flat is the key. And that's the second step done. How do we work out the key signature of A flat? We know that in the case of the flats, A flat is going to be the penultimate flat in the series. So let's start drawing flats. B flat is the first one. Come up a fourth from B flat. E flat. Come up a fourth from E flat, A flat. And that's our penultimate flat. So we need one more. Come up a fourth from A flat, D flat. And that's the key signature of F minor. The relative, ma the relative minor of A flat major, A flat, which is the penultimate flat in the series. <clears throat> okay, let's keep going. E flat major. Okay, let's determine the clef. First of all, the root of this chord, E flat. That's it, that's an E flat. That's e. So that's, that's the E flat at the bottom there, that's the root. In which clef would that note at the bottom of the chord be an E? Would that be the treble clef? No, because we know too well that in the treble clef that is a C, that note is a C. Would that be the bass clef? Yes, indeed. In the bass clef, that note is an E. Now, once we determine the clef, how do we determine the, um, the key signature? Okay, this is certainly in the ways of the flat, and E flat, will be the penultimate flat in the series. So let's start drawing flats, starting from B flat, up a fourth from B flat, E flat, here it is, our penultimate flat. So we only need to add one more flat. A flat, up a fourth, up a fourth from E flat. B, E, A flat. Sorry, we'll just clean it up a little. There you go. That is the key signature and the tonic triad yeah. of E flat major, <clears throat> the bass clef. Okay, next, E major, E major. Let's determine the clef. Let's determine the clef. This is the root of E major. So, in which clef will that note at the bottom be the root? Will it be the treble clef? Yes, it is. In the treble clef, that note is E. Okay, let's now determine the key signature. We need to find our last sharp in the series, which we know is the leading note. The leading note of E major is D sharp. Sorry, that is ugly. D sharp. D sharp is the leading note of E major. So let's start drawing sharps until we find D sharp. F sharp is the first one, upper fifth, C, upper fifth, G, upper fifth, D. Here it is. Our last sharp in the series, and that's the key signature of E major. Last one, okay, B minor, B minor, B minor. First of all, let's determine the clef, let's determine the clef. So, in which clef is this bottom note, the root, a B, a note B? Is it 
the treble clef? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. In the treble clef, that bottom note is a B. So, treble clef. Okay, let's now determine the key signature. First of all, this is a minor. We need to relate to the relative major. How do we relate to the relative major? We go up one minor third from B. One minor third up from B is the note D. D major is the relative major of B minor. And now we find the key signature of D major, hence also B minor. What is the leading note of D? The leading note of D is C <coughs> sharp. Now let's start drawing sharps until we find that leading note, C sharp. The first sharp of the series, of the series is F sharp. The second sharp of the series is C sharp. And that's our leading note of D major, which is the relative major of B minor, which shares the same key signature. And here it is. This is how you work out this particular exercise. We will do a few more. We will do a few more. I will scan and I will do a few more because there are different angles uh, with which they um, test your knowledge in this way. So I hope this helps. Get practicing and I'll see you next time. Thank you.